Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to have a look at the concept of composition in the context of front-end frameworks and libraries like Vue or React. And we're going to have a look at what composition means and why it's a useful pattern, which you probably are already using. At least you should. So what is composition? I prepared a very simple React project here. Here it is, which only does one thing. It renders two alert components here. One of them is dismissible. Now I'm achieving this in this very simple project by having two components, an alert component, which in the end is just rendering a div with some dynamic content, which can be passed in from outside where I'm using that component. And I'm having a dismissible alert component, which is using that alert component to then just also add a button besides that outside content. And that's composition in action already. It actually already starts with the normal alert component. I'm using composition here because I'm building a component which just provides a, a shell, you could say, this div with certain styles, around some dynamic content. And with props children in React's world, we can pass in content between the opening and closing tags of our own custom component. I'm doing this here in app.js. Here I'm using this alert component and I'm passing in some text between the opening and closing tags of the alert uh, component I built. And this content, which I passed between the opening and closing tags, is output with props children here. And that's composition in action because I'm building this base shell to then put any content in there which I want. So I can compose my user interface by using this alert base building block and then making it whatever it should be, in this case an alert box with some text, just based on what I pass between the opening and closing tags here. And then we're taking composition to the next level by building another new component based on the old component. And we're not doing this with inheritance or anything like that, but instead we're building a new component by composing it of different things, by composing different things together. In the end here, we're composing this dismissible alert component by combining the existing alert component with any external content with props children, just also wrapped between a span here, and by then combining this external content with a hard-coded button which closes this alert. So we're building a new component with composition here because we're combining an existing component, we're adding that into our JSX code here with some new markup and the content which is passed in from outside. And that allows us to use this dismissible alert like this just by again passing in some text, but we have this extra functionality of being able to close it just because of composition here. Now, you were probably already using composition when you were working with React or with Vue or with Angular. And I want to say that Vue and Angular also know that feature. In Vue, you use the slot component. In Angular, you use the ng content component. This is simply a crucial feature in modern front-end development because it allows you to build powerful user interfaces from small reusable building blocks, which of course ensures that you don't repeat yourselves, that you can use code you already wrote in another component to then build a new component, and it therefore overall leads to cleaner code. And I just want to emphasize this and reintroduce this concept you might already know so that you also know its official term and understand the reasoning behind it, because understanding the reasoning behind what you do is never a bad thing.